Hello everyone, welcome back to Hyperbole. I know it's hyperbole, but Hyperbole makes it mine. I'm Scott, and I just got out of Monster Trucks last night. Monster Trucks. I'm battling a bit of a cold. I walked in the cold to see this. It wasn't that cold. Monster Trucks. This trailer I saw in front of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows back in June or July, whenever that came out. Might have been August, even. I think the first one was August. but And it looked abysmal. It looked stupid. It looked alright, but then kept going. And it was kind of frightening, to say the least. Forgive me. I'm battling a cold, like I said. Um, and yet, one of, the, one of my friends was like, we gotta go see that in January. What's a trailer for Jan? Like, I know superhero movies is like, this is coming out next summer. Okay. What's the deal with this one? January. <laughs> and it was like June. What? Yeah, it turns out this thing was filmed in 2014. The main girl in it who plays Meredith, um, Jane, not Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch? Judy Lynch. Not the one who did the voice in Wreck-It Ralph and the show that I can't remember the name of. Um, her, she plays Meredith. She's also, she was in um, the Evil Dead remake in 2013. Filmed this the year after. Did Don't Breathe, that came out. And then this comes out in 2017. Yeah, this thing got bumped huge. First live-action movie by Paramount Animation. Why is the animation team making them live? Anyway, um... But also, it was delayed, 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 and it cost $125 million. And Paramount took a write down of 115. Now, that said, it made $10 million on opening weekend. So there we go. This movie is not a train wreck at all. Uh, it's actually quite fun and charming. Its marketing is abysmal. It's got tie ins, it's got toys, which I've not seen anywhere. It's got tie ins with an ice cream cone cup company. Which, there was no ice cream in the movie, by the way. That's normally how that would work. That's weird. Dodge didn't seem to care. They had their trucks all over the place, because who cares how goofy the movie is? It's a truck movie. We have trucks. Uh, I think a Hyundai dealership got beat up, too, at one point. Um, oh, forgive me. I swear this didn't really start this bad until I sat down and recorded the Assassin's Creed review. Uh, this movie... Um, there's no, like, marketing standees, no anything. It's just, let's put it out there and get rid of it. This movie could have potentially done very well. Ten million is nothing to sneeze at, pun not intended. It did better than Pride and Prejudice and Zombies in its four-week run. That did, like, 10.9. It's at 10.5 right now. It's going to surpass that. Dread made 12. It's going to surpass that. But that was in six weeks. It's already past that. It's got a goofy squid creature thing, which was cute, which is a huge, crazy thing to look at, considering it's like a Cloverfield monster and that it's not identifiably something you can draw. It's this weird octopus squid elephant shark. That's cute. With amazing visual effects, I, I do have to say. It, they, they, it looks great. Um, but he's charming. He's funny. He's silly. He's a goofball. He's kind of stupid, and yet not. The lead actor um, plays him real dumb. Um, I, I mean, Lucas Till is fine. I like him in, in X-Men. I have no problem with him in anything. He's goofball in MacGyver series now. But in this, his character's a jerk. I'm not blaming him for that. I'm just saying, like, he comes off as a real total idiot jerk. Uh, the girl is great. She's hilarious in this. Very much contributing and equal. It was very important in that. She's not just the girl. Uh, she's actually really good in it. The scientist is amazing. The bad guy is alright. He's just some corporate dude. The other bad guy is great. At one point, just to show you how badass this guy is, something comes through the windshield and he just starts throwing elbows at it. Like, doesn't really blink. He just, okay. It just, it goes for it. One of the best lines in it is like, I'm 99% sure this is the bad idea. Someone else goes, maybe even 100 and even those lines, like, there, there's a line in this movie. You're a good truck. <laughs> like, okay, this is how, this is how the character is, is kind of a douchebag. 
Um, at one point, they realize, like... And the girl predicts everything, too, by the way. But she says, uh, it's like a wheelchair for him. And he goes, no, it's like he's an engine for it. That's how he sees it. He sees this as he's using it. He doesn't see this as something he's helping out. He's using it. And he never really changes from that. He does kind of a bit later, but it's more like, it's fun, it's good. So, yeah. Um, so why am I talking about this when I'm obviously kind of sick? Well, this movie needs to be talked about. It's not the abysmal train wreck everyone said it is. Um, like some people, the, the reviews are everything from this is the worst thing that could exist. It's typical January dreck, for one. Um, people are saying it's this generation's Encino Man. People like Stuckman, I, I held off seeing his until afterwards. He's like, yeah, it's January trash. That's good. That's fun. I like that. I'm like, okay, I get, I get that. That's fine. That's, he appreciates it for what it is. And it is. It's just, it's a harmless, inoffensive, really great looking, high budget execution of a silly idea. When you get an idea about a squid monster that's on land that powers a truck, that's just budgetarily normally out of reach for what your return's gonna be. And when you cost 125, 125 million, blah blah blah, and make back 10, you get the idea. Normally they don't get made. Somewhere, somehow, this got approved. It felt like a committee movie, and yet didn't, because, I mean, I mean, red's the girl color, and this, blah, blah, blah. but it wasn't really marketed toward boys, and you would think a big truck movie would do that. Nope, girl had a truck, and it's cool. Ironically, that might have been what hurt it, in that it wasn't aimed at the audience you would think a monster truck movie is made for. Also, by the way, Monster Trucks. I heard about this in development since 2013, and I thought it'd be like this animated cartoon about Gravedigger and Bigfoot, and, and that would have been so cool. No, it's about monsters and trucks. I applaud them for going literal, but I regret that they did. <laughs> so, do I regret seeing this movie? Not one bit. Would I recommend it? I'd recommend it to, like, anyone who has kids. I'd recommend it if you don't want to feel stupid. Because it, it isn't. It's charming. It's funny. It's good to look at. The effects, like I said, there's, there's like, eight bad guy trucks going around. That's a $100 million movie right there. It's got the scale and scope that this should have. And yet, normally, this kind of thing is on Disney Channel or Sci-Fi Channel. And has, like, a truck. And bad editing to make it look like more. It exceeds that. It excels. It, it doesn't excel. It exists within that. I don't regret seeing it. I'm not going to run and get the Blu-ray. Unless there's a commentary. I will buy it. But will I get it for $5 on DVD? Yeah. Because it's a, a goofy movie. Hey, is this... What do you think when I tell you this? Yeah, it's not that. It's this. And what... It's it's too fun to not... <coughs> to not ignore. Should I? Would I recommend go out and see it? If you want to, because it's not going to be there long. That's the problem. There's so many releases in January right now, it's going to be a problem. It's good 3D, though, because it was shot in 3D. It wasn't converted in a weird way. It's legit 3D, and it looks good. There's that, too. Great action scenes. The, 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 the racing is great. There's some legit, laugh-out-loud, funny moments. It's worth seeing. And I don't know number scores, because I... Assassin's Creed's a better movie, but I had more fun at this. What, what now? So that's why I don't bother with those. Um, but I would rather own a copy of Monster Trucks than I would Assassin's Creed, truthfully. Assassin's Creed would probably have cool uh, extra features and stuff, but you know what I mean. I would probably watch this again more than I would Creed. There you go. So that's that. Speaking of watching stuff, this is on Cyclops Scott. It's GuiltyPleasureCinema.com. Guilty Pleasure Cinema on Facebook, Cyclops Scott here on YouTube, and over on Twitter. Thanks for watching all this stuff. There is some GPC stuff coming. I'm about to record something a little special. That should be fun. Aside from that, thanks for watching. See you next time.